Greetings, greetings once again. Welcome to Will Films channel. Some of you have been asking me to bring a tutorial on how to make reggae and dance or in FL Studio. Trust me. This is the tutorial right now. Boom! So without further ado, let's go into the tutorial right away. Mad! Alright, so um so here we go. Um I have set my samples here. I've set my 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 template here and this is where I'm going to be working and this is the arrangement section. There are sounds you get them from here. Uh, this is a trial version. I will save but I may not open again. But don't worry, most of these projects that I'll be making in here, I'm going to be saving them when it's time for mixing. At that time I'll unlock this program. I'll make sure that I purchase it. I just wanted to use the program for tutorial only right now. Okay. Massive. Right now, if you are new to the program, this is where you get your sounds. Whether you have samples like myself, I have my samples, I will samples, all my samples are here. So if you have plugins, you can refresh these plugins. On in this section where you have all your plugins here. I've already loaded the plugins that I'm going to use in this tutorial. I did this because I wanted to speed up the workflow. Okay. So I am going to start right now. I'm laying the drum and this is my arrangement section. So what I do, I put the creep right away in the arrangement section because I don't want to be laying everything here and limit myself when whenever i want to play i don't do that but to those who do that is fine as long as they execute the work you know we have different workflows i know most of you who are watching this tutorial are already fruit loops users if you're new to this program uh, just leave the comment in the in the comment section below so that i may know that i can come up with a 101 fl studio basics Yesaya, blessings and love. Okay, so. Okay, so you right click, you fill in steps. Now, because of this tempo, you can see it's 95. The uh, the the higher it will be. Now, what I'll do, I'll have to double it via the piano roll so that it does. Okay. So come in your piano roll. Make sure that you check your snap to grid. If it is here or on here, it's fine for quick, but there are certain things that you can manipulate here. I know some of you who produce hip hop, uh, you have a lot of that, that kind of uh, technique that you work on your drum, the 808 style and stuff, you know what I mean? Sometimes you can do fancy things, it's up to you, you know what I mean?
Okay, good. The drum is done for now. Let's see what next. So I will come to pattern two. And yeah, lay my keyboards. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I since the snap is on step, there is no much to do inside there apart from just making sure that every note is totally leveled, right? Yes, I yeah. So. So here is your velocity, you hold your mouse and you pull. Okay, so I'm adding another instrument here, the arpeggio coming from hybrid. So this is half from um, uh, expand. And then this is bass, subphonic bass from expand as well. Okay. So let's do some arrangement here. Yeah. I think the song is almost done here. Let's record. Okay, so we're done here. You can see it has been so much easier to do this. Okay, so... Some arrangement, quick arrangement, you know what I mean? Um, 
so I'll come here and copy this and try to create another channel here then I'll come down and yeah this is an empty channel that has been created then I'll paste and remove this drum here easy to the we just add a drum roll here easy easy just for the sake of this tutorial when you're working on a project for a client there is time that you can take and a lot of things to put together properly but just for the sake of this tutorial and that you can grab something you can grab a tip and make good music of your own that's why I'm doing this quick quick okay Yeah, sometimes I put a symbol on it, on its own channel and you come here my symbol is so long so I make sure that the decay is reduced so let's check here okay. so okay. this is your chorus and then yeah you come here you remove some of this okay so let's let me try to do something here finally this is the last thing I'm just trying going, going I'm just going to put all these instruments I'm going to root them in, on the mixer so you come on your mixer leave the master alone you come on your first channel and then select root selected channel starting from this track then you, you just choose this last one and then each and every instrument will just will automatically be rooted to its own channel on the mixer so you can begin to treat each and everything i'm not gonna do mixing but i'm just trying to at least help the sound you know what i mean to make sure that the sound is okay <music>
have removed that ten, 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 to give a room to other things happening on this uh, on this part here, yeah? and then yeah, when the song finishes, if I'm making a serious production, I would create another role. But for the sake of this tutorial, let me copy the same role and bring it here. So yeah. You can mute certain instruments so you have ten, 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 a bass line, and yeah. So that was it. That was it. I think it was very easy to do. I hope you have grabbed a tip. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you think these videos are very important to you, that is great. Thank you so much. I respect and blessed love to each and everyone. Would you just kindly subscribe? Ah, come on. On this tutorial, let's make 500 subscribers this week and 10K views. It's possible, right? <laughs> respect, 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 guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for another tutorial. Blessed love.